Welcome back to Observer. We just went inside of Helena's mind and found the code for this. 3615. 3615, wasn't it? Let's give it a shot. Basement? I'm guessing that's where the tattoo slash body mod um, person made the modifications like like adding the data storage to Helena. Mm-hmm. A lot more than just a tattoo shop. A surgical chop shop. Just what we need. Synchrosine collected. That night vision really just does not help. Low power. There's blood on the ceiling. This place is a fucking slaughterhouse. There is a guy waiting for you in 102. Ah, right. I guess they're going to have their procedure here. Pre-used, immediate disposal recommended. Fear not the passage, for no one can take from us that which has been given. Against all odds, I have succeeded in arranging a new workspace. Quite ingeniously, I managed to order... Synchrosine. Did, did picking that up seriously stop the tape? Fear not the passage, for no one can take from us that which has been given. Against all odds, I have succeeded in arranging a new workspace. Quite ingeniously, I managed to organize it in a way that will allow me to fulfill my other great passion. The conditions are crude, to say the least, but... They really were dedicated to leaving just a breadcrumb trail of tapes. Ah, here we go. Probably power. Whoa. Oh. We're fine, or are we? Or are we gonna die? Find a way out. Something tried to get me, but the automated door saved my skin. Should thank my lucky star. Or my guardian angel. Now I need to find some other way out. Maybe there's a piece of equipment I can use. We're, we're probably safe. Yeah, it stopped banging. We got chill, jazzy music. I've seen these before. This will help me decrypt the figurine. Oh yeah, the figurine I found what feels like forever ago in Adam's apartment was too advanced for me to decrypt on my own. Text logs. <clears throat> List of subject. Terminated. What the hell have you been doing, Adam? July, August, September. It's been going on for a while. Uh, this very last one. Fully responsive. Appears fully cognizant. No immediately distinguishable disorders. Contained and pending. The only one like that. Hmm. I hope that's not that monster. 
Could that be the monster? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, a bunch of audio entries. July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful. To say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But... Without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th, 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. I wasn't planning on involving others. It makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude. I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back. For all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken. Incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming and he never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. September 16th, 2083. I haven't been getting much sleep. Drugs do half a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face, and I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up, to fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Project... Oh, fuck. Shit. I, uh... I, uh... Uh... I, I don't... I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack... to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is, I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day, I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. I, uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams. But this one was so vivid. I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom. The executive giving me the same condescending look. Telling me to grow up. To move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father. So what exactly were these subjects Adam was working on? What exactly was Adam trying to do? Alright, so I need to find a way out. <laughs> a way out other than this door. Uh, there's some controls back there to move these things on the table. Well, let's just start messing with them and see what they do exactly. Synchrozine collected. What's my goal? So I can pick it up just like a, a plug and connect it to something. So what do I want to connect it to? Wait, 
Is that a meat grinder? The hell do you have that down here for? I know you're a chop shop, but surely that's not useful. Does it need to be hooked up to the door? Like, do I actually have to go out here? Surely not. Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. That works. Okay, now the night vision. Yeah, this is the, it gives you the prompt. And this is the first time it's like actually useful. I feel like I'm gonna be chased in this tunnel. Eh, maybe not. Oh hey, is this the basement of the uh, the building? Maybe this is how you get to the other side of the basement. What's my case log say? Tunnel led me under the building. Need to find my way through the maze and get back to the upper floors. Maybe there's someone here who could help me. Yeah, I think I might be on the other side. I think I am. This looks familiar. Yes. This is. Yeah, that's the door I couldn't get through. Okay, so the organ dealer's basement is probably here. Digital decay. Hey, what's cooking? Oh, sorry, man. <coughs> Can't talk now. I got something on the stove, you know? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Smells delicious. And illegal. Oh, shit! <laughs> it's the pigs! Flush the <laughs> shit now! Flush it! <laughs> so... These people... I'm sorry, there's people that live in the freaking basement? How do they get out? I know that says exit, but the door's locked? I guess they have keys? But the basement? Sure, I go through this place thoroughly. Oh, is that my own footstep? Not sure. JP Lee, need to ask you some questions. Hey, pig, you killed anyone yet? What? No. Come on, don't give me that. I can smell it all over you. I know a guilty conscience when I see one. I, uh... I, uh, I killed my son's love for me. How about you? You sound like a real killer. Shit. Takes one to know one, you know what I'm saying? I did my time. 
I've been squeaky clean ever since. I heard that before. Say, man, you don't look like a regular cop. That thing on your... Oh, shit. You're a... Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I didn't mean nothing by it, okay? I, I, I gotta go. Is that like an analog spin? I forgot what they're called. Uh, rotary phone? Like thing? Weird. Someone was living here. Okay, so I've been there, been... Been here? Yes. So this is the only way I haven't been. Ah, oh, that's where I came in. Hmm? I don't know what that is. Am I supposed to be scared? Am I supposed to be scared of something? Oh. Seeing things. Anyone in there? I just want to talk. Hello there. I'm Maria. Okay. <laughs> Look at that green glow coming from underneath the door. That was an odd way to respond. Hello, Maria. I'm dead. Lovely name. Lovely. Now, is that short for Daniel? Like the one in the Bible? Are they an immaculate? Yeah. Oh, N maybe. Maria, I seem to have gotten lost down here. Could you point me to the nearest exit? Oh, yes, I understand completely. Completely. It really is a maze down here, don't you think? Yeah, very confusing. So, about the exit? All right. Go past the noisy noises, and then straight ahead up the stairs, and there you go. Thank you. Just be careful. Don't stray from the path. You are a child of light, Daniel. Much too precious to get lost in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Maria. Huh. Ways to go. I really want to make sure I don't miss that basement, just in case I can't come back here. I probably can. Oh. Oh, stairs. Well, that's probably where I'm supposed to go get out, so what's this way? Hmm. Whoa. How's my synchronization? Not good. Okay. 
I guess that's hinting that there's a crawl space that I maybe can get into from somewhere else. Sounds like a squealing pig. Ooh, this might be it. Case log updated. Yep, that's it. It removed the other quest and updated it with this one. Okay. Now I had the password right? I do. I don't remember it offhand though. But yeah, we had the password. What was it? Does it say? Please tell me it does. The code was 7441. Yeah, <laughs> the rotary phone thing just like spun weird. Okay. Layers of fear. <laughs> That's the law on the nose, don't you think? That's the developer's previous game. No one here? I. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, there's no one here. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Let's look at that in a second. Take a look around first. Oh. Wait, what? That was weird. For some reason, when I opened it the first time, I had to move the mouse. Yeah, like right now. I move the mouse down, and it goes up. I move the mouse up, and it goes down. That is odd. Now this one I moved up to go up. That makes no sense. Just so many cans of, like, pig meat. Fuck. A living organ farm. It must be an agony. It reminds me of... When I played Darkwood. The sow. At least this one doesn't try to eat me. God, that is just, just horrible. Um, lots of buttons. Simulation, life support. If I reboot, the sedation program should resume. Or, I could unplug it. Put it out of its misery. Yeah, let's unplug it. I can't? Uh, maybe I need to, like, fix the error first or something, I don't know. Restart simulation, yes. Reboot simulation for morphine. Am I simulating morphine? I don't know what that means. Happy now. What's this do? Oh, I needed to turn that all the way down to unplug the life support, right? Okay. Well, that was quick at least. That's good. Quest is done. And there was one other pathway I didn't go down. Uh, this is where I came from, right? Yes, I came this way. That's where it is. I didn't go this way. Hey! 
Anyone out there? Help me, please! What's wrong? What's going on in there? Oh, thank God. Please, I'm trapped in here. Okay, sir. Can you tell me exactly what's going on? I woke up stuck to this contraption. There was a tube down my throat. I barely managed to pull it out. Okay. Take a look around the room and tell me what you see. I can't see anything. There's something on my head. Oh, God, help me. Let's try this. The thing on your head, can you take it off? I... I'm not sure. I, I could barely lift my arms. God damn it, what have they done to me? Uh, sir, listen to me. I want you to park your elbows on the chair, lower your head, and pull backwards. Uh, 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 thanks. I got it off. It's, uh... It's some kind of helmet. There's cables everywhere. There's a logo. Some kind of face with wings. The Morpheus VR series. Huh? The what? Hey, hey! Answer me! As captain of the Endeavor, a representative of the United Earth Initiative, I demand to know what's going on here! I think they've been in too long. All right, Captain, sir. I will notify the initiative of your little snafu. Thank you. I don't know who you are, but the UEI will not forget this. Poor schmuck. Reality is catching up with you. What was that? I said, I'm sure your crew will catch up with you. Uh, keep from this way, right? Yes. It's really hard to keep everything straight. Everything just looks kind of the same. It sort of looks the same, and it's also maze-like. Exit? Wait, does that mean the stairs were not the exit? What is this, then? Yeah, let's just turn that off. What the? Okay, I guess it's staying on. Hmm. With luck, I can hack the whole thing, but I doubt it. Oh, I think we're good. Well, I mean, it's not hard to guess the last one. Oh shit, I can't go back. Huh. I think there was a little bit I didn't explore. Probably not much, though. Yeah, so now I'm back to, like, the normal part of the basement that I could get into before. I think I'm losing myself. Maybe from all the observing...
What's this about? Why, you, of course. It's always about you, isn't it? Don't fuck with me. That's not why I'm here. It's time to move on. These are odd choices. I'm feeling obnoxious. What is it, dear? The macabre. Yes. I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can and will be used against me in court of law. Uh-huh. I have the right to an attorney. Do I understand my rights? Fuck yeah. Let's skip this part, okay? I'm losing control. Try not to think about me. You were good. Good at talking out of my ass. Don't leave me. You are my man. This intercom is offline. Please contact the building manager. Need to find whoever owns that tattoo parlor. How do we go about doing that? Someone has to know if he lives around here. Maybe there's someone out here? Ah, there you are. Hey, is everything all right? Don't mind the rain. It burns sometimes. And this helps? Not tonight. Do you know who owns the tattoo parlor? Mm hmm. Dennis. What? He lives here? In this building? Where? Jack. Gardens, apartment, do and second floor. Thanks. Don't get your wires wet. We will. Alright, well I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go to the second floor and go to apartment 210 to speak, or, well, we probably won't end up speaking, we'll probably find the dead body of the tattoo parlor owner.